Oh, but I have to give you a caveat that you are not required to drink this once you've seen what goes in. <laughs> there is in these little things over here some non-alcoholic punch for those who do not want to imbibe in the Calvary punch. Uh, Although we will boo you. Where's uh, <laughs> Bernard Schmidt? Huh? Go, All right. We're good. The regimental punch ceremony is a time-honored tradition within the Second Dragoon. The regimental punch, a term used to describe the elixir that is somewhat tasty always potent and able to serve in a variety of capacities, both in a liquid and solid form. The ceremony traditionally begins a formal regimental social function such as balls, dining ins, dining outs, and of course reunions. The regimental punch is a substantive brew of proven medicinal value. It has worn many cold troopers on the screen and picket lines. It has inspired him to feats of glory. It cures what ails you, and it pinches is an effective bore cleaner for our cannons, a lubricant for our vehicles, or a propellant for our missiles. A true cavalryman maintains a base for the punch in their homes at all times. The punch is prepared using very specific ingredients that represent the many battles and campaigns that lace the history of the Second Dragoons. Each ingredient reminds us of those who have gone before us and the responsibilities to continue the superb service to our nation, a service gone in, uninterrupted since 1836. Uh, 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 uh. The Second Cavalry Regiment was organized as the Second Dragoons in 1836 to fight the Seminoles of Florida. The Dragoons wore an eight-pointed star as a cap ornament, which now forms the background of the regimental crest. The palmetto leaf superimposed on the star symbolizes the five years the dragoons fought in the Everglades and the swamps. Specialist Mike Gibson will now pour a half a bottle of champagne and red wine over dry ice to commemorate the regiment's baptism in battle. I'm scared now. <laughs> no, a little bit younger. Let's get them both going. Whoa. I'm going to get a video. I got it going. Okay. Now just keep pour it no, off. No, 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 no. Half. Only half. If the other half goes to somebody else. The other half we'll use later. Okay. Whoa. I'm to the side and I'm out. Yeah. After one year, one year after the Seminole campaign, the unit added three more streamers to the Dragoon banner for battles against the Cheyenne, Nez Peace, Bangkoks, in the Southwest Territory. Specialist Tacoma Dave Getman will pour rye whiskey to symbolize the taste of this drink which the troopers developed. Look. Pour it that happens to here with the sword. We have no idea whether we're putting more in. Yeah, put more in. Put more in. Put more in. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Now, okay. uh, Colonel Joe Krausick will add tequila for the 14 campaigns fought in Mexico in 1846 and, and 1847. Good stuff. <laughs> Bubbling, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> 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 with Ryan Shannon will now add Kahlua for Captain May's headlong charge into the blazing Mexican artillery at Rishikaka, Rishikaka del, Palma, de la Palma. Remember your regiment and follow your officers called Captain May and it became the motto of the regiment. <laughs> During the Civil War, 
The 2nd Dragoons officially became the 2nd U.S. Cavalry Regiment and earned 14 battle streams. The names remind us of the tremendous sacrifice of life in some of our nation's toughest battles. These include Fredericksburg, Antietam, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, the Wilderness, Manassas, Spotsylvania, and Cold Harbor. Sergeant Conrad Smith saved the life of his gravely wounded commander, Captain Radenborough, a Medal of Honor recipient at the Battle of Winchester. And Command Sergeant Major Devereaux was supposed to wait until I finished. <laughs> but he just ported. <coughs> yes, Major. Always ready. Uh, in 1866 to 1880, the regiment once again did battle with the Indians in Wyoming, Kansas, Montana, and the Little Bighorn. In memory of this, Specialist Ismail Moran will add the last of the champagne and red wine. In 1898, the 2nd Cavalry entered the Spanish-American War, fighting alongside Ro Roosevelt's Rough Riders. Colonel Joe Shannon will now add Bacardi rum to represent the streamer for San Diego. Now it's a shame, I don't think it's all going to fit in here, so it's going to hold off a little bit. Do your daughters proud though, Joe. <laughs> 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 I, I don't want to. No. <laughs> you don't have to fall. You don't have to. Oh! 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 <laughs> the regiment entered World War One and was the only unit to fight its cavalry, horses and all. <laughs> For such places as the Argonne and the Marne, Captain Mastriano will add French wine, Bordeaux, Touche Prey was added then to the crest as well as the Fleur de Lis. Always ready, hua. Hua. We're going to be in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> Level off that team. Take it easy on that one. <laughs> Save some for the roast beef. Come on, sir. <laughs> Go easy on your liver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Renamed the Second Cavalry Group Mechanized, the regiment entered World War II and landed at Normandy in 1944, and led the advance of Patton's Third Army throughout the remainder of the war. In a daring raid through Russian lines in the closing days of the war, the troopers from the regiment rescued the famous Liposano horse show horses from the Russian forces. For these actions, Staff Sergeant Joe Lingus will now pour Napoleon brandy. Oh, there he is. Okay, Joe. I got you. Joe is better than that's right. Oh, absolutely. Something's got to go in there. You don't have to break it like that. You don't have to break it like that. Like these crowd of crazy cowboys. Well done. <laughs> The next campaign liquor put to use in this historical punch will be added by Mas Master Sergeant Vernon Smith, vodka, Ooh. representing the riotous battles fought at the close of World War II. <laughs> Ooh. 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 The regiment was redesignated the 2nd Constabulary Regiment and served in, Germ in the German occupation. 
1948, it became the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment and began border duty along the longest stretch of the Iron Curtain patrolled by American forces. Corporal Glenn Back will add Rhine wine to symbolize the Central Europe campaign and the drive through Germany and the long Cold War. <laughs> Colonel Scott Marcy will now add the next ingredient to our historical punch. That which sustained the fighting spirit and elan of the regiment during its combat in the deserts of Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Kuwait. Water. <laughs> Just a little bit. Don't overdo no, it. Oh, come on. Don't, it. Don't spill it, Scott. The beginning of the non-alcoholic era. Here, by the way. <laughs> you didn't hear that from me, Scott. <laughs> Flexibility and versatility are trademarks of the 2nd Dragoon. The regiment once again proved, in, it's proved it in Haiti. As members of the multinational task force, the regiment had driven more accident-free miles, ate more dust, and drank less beer than any other unit in recent memory. Yeah. <laughs> to commemorate our Haitian experience and the two beer limit, <laughs> Colonel Paul Jessel will add two Sharps non-alcoholic beer. You note know the label on these things. Non-alcoholic. Okay. Yeah. On the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that one's on the floor. Yep, that one's on the floor. Watch out the EPU. Yeah. Declare this a disaster area. It's, 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 it's a super fun site now. <laughs> Responding once again to the nation's call, the regiment deployed to the Balkans as part of the stabilization force in Bosnia Herzegovina. In honor of the Balkan peacekeepers, Specialist Doug Miller will add a bottle of plum brandy. The punch, the punch's final ingredient. Bamalunda. <laughs> Right. Yeah. right. At this point, I would like to ask Command Sergeant Major Blackwood to taste, to stir, and taste the punch. Watch the bottle. You need a stretcher? That's <laughs> <laughs> gonna need one. Last request. <laughs> Mr. President, this punch is not fit, nor is it ready for a second degree trooper. It is missing an ingredient. Mr. President, it's your turn. <laughs> What a mess. <laughs> In recognition of those soldiers who have fallen and those soldiers who are currently deployed in Afghanistan that we will hear from tonight, I hope, I now add American whiskey to celebrate their sacrifices and those of their families. Uh. 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 a medic, Bill. I can help. Don't worry. I declare this punch not only fit for human consumption, but dragoon consumption. Right. And I hope you all enjoy it. All right. All right. Your Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to Come forward and get a glass.